Today we will demonstrate how to rebuild Power Grip's Wobble Piston AC Vacuum Pump number 66125. Before conducting any maintenance on your vacuum pump, refer to the vacuum pump maintenance sheet located in the instruction or service manual provided with your lifter. This will provide a pictorial reference for the parts and process involved. Always disconnect all power from the lifter and vacuum pump before servicing. The service kit, WPG number 66178, contains four head O-rings, two cylinder O-rings, four leaf valves, four retainer screws, two piston cups, and two cylinders. The following tools will be needed to perform this maintenance. A T15, T20, and T25 Torx driver, a marking pen or tape. Using the marker or tape, mark the orientation of the valve plates with the base of the pump and note the orientation of the head covers for reassembly. Using the T25 Torx driver, remove the eight head screws and lift off the two pump heads, noting their orientation for reassembly. Remove the valve plate. Remove the piston cylinders. Using a T20 Torx driver, remove the retainer screws from the cup retainer plate and remove the piston cup. Install the new piston cylinders over the pump's connecting rods. Place the new piston cup facing up inside the cylinder and install the retaining plate using the screws provided in the repair kit. Secure the screws using one drop of a low strength thread locking compound such as Loctite 222. Securing the screws is easier if the piston rod is pushed to the bottom of its stroke so that it doesn't move when the screws are tightened. Tighten and torque the screws to 50 inch pounds or 5.6 newton meters. Remove the head and piston gaskets from the valve plate. Using the T15 Torx driver, remove both the intake and exhaust flap valves, being sure to keep track of the exhaust valve limiter plates and the screws for reassembly. Clean the valve plate with a water-based solvent and soft cloth, taking care not to scratch valve seats. Before installing the new flap valves, gently flex the valves to find their natural inner curve. The new valve should be mounted with this curve down against the valve plate. Install the exhaust flap valves and limiter plates on the exhaust side of the valve plate. Secure the screws using one drop of a low strength thread locking compound and torque the screws to 11 inch pounds or 1.2 newton meters.
Before installing the new retainer plates and intake flap valves, examine the plates. One side of the plate is more rounded than the other. This rounded side should be mounted down against the flap valve when installed. There is also a notch on one end of the retainer plate. This is aligned with the bottom of the flap valve. Install the intake flap valves and retainer plates in the same manner as the exhaust valves, securing the screws using one drop of a medium strength thread locking compound and torquing to 11 inch pounds or 1.2 newton meters. Install the head O-rings. Using the alignment marks made during disassembly, place the valve plate on the pump. Install the cylinder O-rings. Install the pump heads on the valve plate in the same orientation as when they were removed. Tighten the head screws and torque to 60 inch pounds or 6.8 newton meters. Your vacuum pump is now ready to return to service.